Hello, Dawi. What the grudge is going on? Welcome back to the Thoric Ironbrow campaign. Um, yes, we will be settling all the grudges here, and we do have many in the book, as we can see, because we need to put together some of these lost items, and then we may have stacked up some new ones out of curiosity. The Thieving Vermin Grudge? Seen by an enraged Grungmi. The Stealing Fregraki? Threg... Bagaraki? <laughs> Raid our lands. Oh my goodness, this language. Um, raid any region belonging to the Skaven. Well, I mean, that ought to be pretty easy. Um, oh, in any case, we're going to be uh, having to do this. Oh, speaking of, people mentioned that we need to go after this. This uh, hammer. This quest battle. So I will be trying to do that. It says we need to search any settle ruined settlement for treasure. I'm going to have to keep an eye out on Teclis because he declared a pointless, unnecessary war on us. Um, which, you know, sure, go Teclis. You're ever, ever the bright and wondrous. Um, in any case, let's end a turn. But hope y'all are enjoying this so far. inscribed in Klinkaroon, binding, enduring. So Tehenuin wants me to give him money. Um, try again, Tehenuin, but nice thinking. Nice thinking. I guess I'll give him points for creativity. Alright, our gold mine's back up and operating at Thrice Cursed Peak. I'm gonna go ahead and improve the peak to the next level. Um, nothing else we can build in this. We can snag an extra hundred income per turn. Caverns of the Great Bas Bat are at some pretty big risk from Teclis right now. So I'm probably not going to spend that at the moment. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to mosey on over here and kick Teclis' butt a couple of times just to make him think about the uh, the wrong that he has committed by declaring war against me. So I'm going to move that way. Uh, hopefully these settlements here can hold it together while we're gone. I know this would be a double growth thing. We could fill out this province a lot faster, or I could snag some much-needed extra income. Um, let's just help the province grow a little quicker, because growth ultimately means income. Um, again, it's a little bit risky, but I don't have a war over here. Doesn't mean the Skaven won't come in and create one. Oh, look. Look who showed up. Right before I was there. <laughs> Good thing I didn't spend the money, huh? Teclis! You're so big and strong! Well, you know, one thing I'll thank Teclis for, actually, here, is I think he just gave me the opportunity to search a, um... Oof, I don't want the negative public order. Um, he just gave me the opportunity to search some ruins. So, I'm gonna move over here. I'm technically trespassing at the moment. I shouldn't have moved there. I should have stayed in my own territory. Um, because I needed to replenish some more, but I guess it is what it is. Let's upgrade Wixel. Um, so we've lost some income, no thanks to his destruction of our gemstone mine. So, or not our gemstone mine, sorry, but the destruction of our uh, building there, our tool maker, whatever it was, that was generating some income. <clears throat> have to be a little bit careful with our money here. So I can get over here and make some money by destroying Teclis. Ah, he resettled it. Can't reach over here? That is so frustrating. Alright, so he's resettled it. He can't easily get to my other settlements because he can't travel underground. So I'll head into my settlement here and await my opportunity to go after him. We're gonna have public order issues here eventually. So it looks like we're gonna be saved at the southern spine of Sotek. I'm not going to spend any more money on buildings at the moment. <clears throat> okay, Teclis is late in a siege. I don't know if that's the same army, or if he took a bunch of losses somehow. That is this not the same army. He somehow has quite a lot fewer units now. I don't want to. I don't want to bump in on this side because then it's easy for me to get surrounded. 
I think I'm gonna bounce in right here. And then I should be able to take out Teclas. He'll run away. Yep. Not surprised he ran away. He's definitely outmatched in the state that we saw him in there. He doesn't have any additional reinforcements at the Caverns of the Great Bat, so I think Teclas has just um, gotten himself killed here. Unfortunately, I can't reach him on this turn, which means he may run yet again. Um, wouldn't be surprised if he does. It should be safe for me to build this now. We need to get that gemstone mine going. Let's see. Rangers, Quarlers, and Thunderers. Let's do that because I'm trying to buff my Thunderers as much as is possible. Okay. I respect the ancient knowledge and wisdom. An aggression pact would be pretty smart right now. I need to get my trade agreement reopened with them. I think it got messed up whenever. Yep. Okay, there we go. A little bit of extra cash. Not gonna be. Oh, Tech was stayed. That's kind of a shocker, actually. Now, a player's garrison would not have been up to full strength after this few turns, um, but Teclas is because he's an AI player. Uh, but it doesn't much matter. I mean, he's going to get absolutely slaughtered by my force here, and even the AI, uh, even the auto resolve thinks so. But we'll take care of this one in person, and we'll get a chance to kind of Pokemon Teclas's Lord benefit here into our arsenal. Should be nice to have. I like collecting those. I don't, are the rest of you that way? Like, you get into campaign, and even if they don't really make a big deal, you kind of just like collecting all of the legendary lord bonuses you get for defeating an enemy legendary lord in battle. I know I'm that way. Yeah, we've got a lot of shielded armored infantry. Teclas won't have an answer to that at this point in time. High Elves do have very good answers to that later in the game, but um, this is not that point. Okay, let's get some protection back here in case he lands his flyers in our skirmishing line, which he is likely to do. And keep our Mournfang cavalry at the ready here. I was told by someone in a comment that the dwarves actually did hire some ogre mercenaries. It didn't end well. Supposedly the mercenaries turned against them according to what I was told. Sounds about right. Um, that's one reason why I wouldn't ever hire ogre mercenaries, but um, apparently the dwarves actually did so. I think he was saying it was Belagar Ironhammer. He's trying to retake Karak Eight Peaks, which a little bit of cool stuff. Anyway, that's one more reason why I love the comments from you all, by the way. So please continue to feed your comments in. I read them all. And uh, at the moment, I am able to respond to all of them. There will be times when I can't do that, like when I'm coming up on vacation soon. But uh, I will respond to them. I certainly read them. Um, so thank you very much. I appreciate them. I always get some good advice from you all too, like you all reminded me about the um, quest battle, because apparently the hammer from the quest battle is pretty OP. And I definitely want that. So, I will be checking it out. Let's see here. The dwarves, uh, we've got their attention, so the elves are coming. We've already got 95 kills on our grudge thrower. I'm targeting it at kind of blobbed areas of the elf army, and we have the explosive damage. So, I mean, we are really letting it rip. Oh, look at that. Teclas has a fireball. Oh, who's he going for? Mornfang? Nope some dwarf warriors who are slightly magic resistant and heavily armored, so best of luck with that, Teclas. Okay, I'm going to take all of my infantry into a hard group. Except for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and give an attack order here. Kill them! Die! Attack! Kill them! 
I'm gonna keep my Mornfang cavalry close because of that um, dirty bird that Teclas has there. Alright, let's get a runesmith up here. In fact, actually, let's send a runesmith out here to mess with that bird. Nice, Teclas. I think you just killed a whole bunch of your own troops. Well done. Bring the Mornfang cat up. Uh, Frostheart Phoenix decided to land, and I think that was a rather foolhardy mistake. And as expected, Teclas is getting absolutely owned. On that Frostheart Phoenix, I'm gonna need to kill that. Still on a cooldown for my rune magic, so no other runes that I can use at the moment. Alright, we got rid of some archers there. Teclas is going to get mobbed by our Mornfang cavalry now. So, it would be appropriate to see Teclas and all of his magical glory getting bumped around by a bunch of disgusting ogres. He hit us with a feebling foe. Look at him go. Oh, he had a Swordmaster here. Didn't notice that one right off the bat, but... No big deal. I'm gonna target these archers, actually. Okay, so the Frostheart Phoenix just took off and got away. Looks like they're gonna he's gonna come try and protect Teclas. I'm gonna try and buy myself some uh, let's try and charge through here with our Mornfang cavalry. I think our Iron Breakers just opened it up. Yep, they did. Alright, so now Teclas won't be able to resist our ogre charms. And his bird is going to be forced into some combat that he doesn't want. Let's get a um, rune of negation here. No, 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 sorry, wrong character I'm using. Doesn't much matter at this point. I'm gonna slow that bird down and let it get stuck. I'll send the Mornfang Cav here chasing down Teclas. <laughs> Look at that Frostheart Phoenix trying to get away. Still got a rune of slowness on it, and it's still managing to get away. Now, granted, my Ogre Cavalry isn't very uh, fast. Like, I think my Ogre Cavalry is quite slow, um, all things considered. Alright, we don't have to chase down Teclas because this was a, uh, a battle in which he is going to die. He won't be... He won't be able to uh, survive it because it was a uh, settlement battle, I believe. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to reoccupy my territory. Red Axe of Karak Eight Peaks. Nice. Well, that'll be a nice stand-in until we get our proper hammer. We defeated Teclas, which gives us extra Winds of Magic. Now that seems appropriate for defeating Teclas. That dude is the Winds of Magic. Like he has so many Winds of Magic, it is rather insane, actually. It's really fun when you're using them in campaign. Um, I am gonna go ahead and put this exotic animal tamer here. Guess I could use the extra cash. Should also upgrade this gold mine. It's expensive, but it'll pay back. Let's see here. The so Thoric levels up. Um, I need to get to Lightning Strike, ultimately. Um, let's go with this one, and then we'll do Iron Wield and Lightning Strike. And then for this Runesmith, he's becoming quite the helper with support here. This Ward Save could be really good. I mean, that's a 40% Ward Save for 40 seconds. 
Ward Breaker, Hearth and Home. Immune Psychology is not going to be that big of a deal for a Dwarf Army. I mean, it could certainly be at some point, but um, not at the moment. Not at the moment. Um, let's finish the Rune of Slowness. Oops. Wrong button. I don't think Teclas actually has any of our artifacts, but if nothing else, I'm going to have to convince him to cease fighting. No and even though he's much weaker than me at the moment, he won't agree to any such terms. So, I guess we'll just have to convince him, won't we? If you want something done right. Um, let's get our Venerate Ancestors commandment going again. Our bargain will be inscribed in... A uh, non-aggression pact to be nice, Mr. Tehenowin. Skink Moses. I'm not going to keep it for a long time, because eventually I'm re-establishing all things Dawi, but, I mean... You want to kid yourself that I'm not, then I'm gonna risk more Slip's wrath here. That's just not worth it. Alrighty. Iron will. Sentinels of Zeti. It is a walled Ridiculous. settlement, but it has probably poor protection. Attack! And we have a rather powerful army, so I'm gonna push our advantage. Our casualties will be low. We won't lose any units, so I'm going to swipe this Fight settlement off Teclas. This'll do for starters. We'll end up killing another of his lords. We get extra leadership. And laying siege. What? I'm gonna try and get growth going in all of these settlements first. Growth first and foremost. I do want the Golden Colossus eventually. I'm not gonna worry about these Druki yet, but I will have to declare war on them eventually. And that is who Teclas should have been fighting. But apparently Teclas is a mindless, blithering idiot who decided to declare war on me, who was no threat to him at the moment, just so that he could feel better about himself, I guess. Whatever the reason is. Get more growth going in these provinces. May seem like overkill to some of you all, but... Dawi growth can be quite slow, and, um... Sometimes it's helpful to speed it along so you can get to your later tier units and have a bit more powerful army and abilities available to you. Um, let's see here. Rune of Breaking. Let's keep working on Rune of Breaking. It might be nice to have some armor penetrating capability if we come up against more stuff, say like a Swordmaster, an Executioner, a Tomb Guard, um... Saras Warriors. There could be stuff where that rune of breaking where it sunders armor could be quite helpful to us. Since I am yet to be at war with anybody else around here, I think I'm going to push against Teclas. I'm going to push up to this point. Hang on, let me see how much I have to have to get into an encamp stance. i got to have 50% of my campaign movement range. I'm going to replenish for one more turn, and then I'm going to see if we can bounce out onto the uh, Turtle Isles. And... I might just raise his settlements at the moment. I mean, they're going to be kind of hard to populate because of their public order you know, challenges and growth challenges since they're not a habitable climate. So that... Could cause me issues. I need the gemstone mine here. That'll help me quite a bit with income. So we have gemstones. Plus, if I tear down his settlement, I could then search it to satisfy that um, quest we have. So that kind of seems like a win-win at the moment. Dang, I was hoping we could get out there, but we can't. Arcane wisdom. I can move the same way underground, so I'm just gonna Come on. pop up here. No. Surprise Teclas isn't back yet. Absolutely. Great Turtle Isle, though, doesn't have great defenses. They can I recruit like probably three more units on this turn end, but then I'm gonna catch them and make them sorry that they ever declared this war. They started it. I will finish it. 
All right, that will give me some more income, so let's work on that. I mean, I even had this stuff done, too. These Oath of Loyalty, uh, Diplomatic Relation with Dwarves. Kazad Subsidies. Let's work on a little bit of extra income from here. I could use some income. We're not really swimming in it at the moment, though we can be soon, depending on what happens. I mean, with the difficulty I'm on, we very well could end up in some undesired wars here very quickly. Um, I really want to come over here first and take out their larger Impossible. settlement. He's recruiting Silverin Guard. Alright. Our income is rising. We don't even have our Ooh, beastmen in the territory. That's not good. Alright, so I'll have to keep an eye on the beastmen as well. Let's end this turn. Ah, here we go. So Teclas was back, and he's brought everything. Now this is may seem bad. I think one of these armies starts behind us. I don't know which one it is. Teclas came in as reinforcements. I'm assuming Teclas will be the one behind us. We're being attacked by the smaller army that was in the settlement. So I expect that Teclas is going to start right behind me, and I'll have an opportunity to kill him quick. And then be ready by the time his reinforcements get there. So let's try this. It's giving me really poor chances, which I don't understand. The elves don't really have anything in this fight that is particularly threatening to me. As Dawi, I hold the range advantage. I'm pretty sure I technically hold an infantry advantage as well. And then I hold the mobility advantage with the Mornfang cavalry. I don't really see any advantage going to the high elves at this point. So I can't say that I really understand. The auto-resolve may just see multiple armies what? and give them more... Um, give them higher chance? I don't know. Grunsmith. Here's what we're going to do. Quarrelers. I'm going to get some quarrelers. Kind of set up like this to get different Quarrels. angles in on our enemies. And then I'm going to set... Some great weapon units towards the flanks. And then I'm going to just put our Grudge Thrower here, facing the oncoming elves. And what we're going to do is put all of our focus on the army of Teclas here first. Let our Grudge Thrower do battle against the... Oh, one last thing I forgot. Let me get all my infantry together here. All right, let's move up a little. As you like. That's gonna be a life mage, and that is indeed Teclas. Okay, He's up. I'm gonna start targeting enemy archers. Gotta keep this gap plugged here. The rune of slowness on Teclas. Get some wrath and ruin right here. Woo, that was quite nice. And I kind of helped bust up these flanks a little. Yeah, the AI is in trouble. Their reinforcements are far, far away. And Teclas is getting absolutely filleted right now by my troops. In fact, I'm just going to turn my quarrelers around because at this point they're probably going to cause me more. What the heck was that? Got a moonbow type ability? Got some silver and guard holding out in a couple of spots, but not for much longer. They're completely surrounded, and I've got AP units into them. They really shouldn't still be alive, but... I think their leadership bonus that they get on the difficulty level is keeping them in the fight. Great Eagle headed towards me. I'm gonna need to get ready to use a 
Rune of Slowing on that eagle. I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling in that direction. These uh, units over here that are getting basically unjust leadership buffs to keep them in the fight. It's annoying, but not much I can do about it at the moment. Okay, there goes Teclas's army. So, soundly defeated. All right. Let's put my army up here in a line in the front. Hornfang Cab ready to go. Enemy reinforcements are arrayed out in front of us, and they're already under Grudge Thrower fire. It's, they're Silvern Guard, so they're they're sitting out of range. They attacked me. I think they're just waiting on reinforcements. Indeed, there's their reinforcements. So they have a fair number of Lothern Sea Guard approaching. I'm gonna target these Silvern Guard with my Grudge Thrower. All right, here we go. Oof. It's gonna be nice. Getting some spectacular kills there. I'm gonna soften this unit of Spearmen up a little. I'm gonna kinda alternate my Grudge Thrower targets as they approach here. Ooh, that was a nice hit. All right. Let's get our quarrelers up. There are some long-range archers pulling up here. Push my infantry lines forward. Target my grudge thrower out here. Uh, let's get my get up here and get ready to counter this eagle. There's a considerable amount of enemy archer fire coming on us right now. Come at the enemy here. Slowed the eagle down. The eagle's gonna make a run for my missiles. I'm not surprised about that decision in the least. How are my iron breakers getting shredded by non AP archers? I find that terribly difficult to believe. They're shielded and have 135 armor. Alright, the Mournfangs made short work of the Eagle. Iron Breakers are in combat now, and that should help them quite a lot. Wrath of Ruin, these guys here. Wrath and Ruin. Beautiful thing. I'm gonna try and get the Morn Fangs around the flank here. Let's put some fire on these archers with light armor. I'm gonna stop chasing these archer units that are trying to kite us. And shoot them up with my own ranged units. They don't want to stand and fight. I'll let them range fight. I don't think they'll do much better. There we go. So this is going to be a clean victory. AI is going to take a pretty savage beat down here. Feel 
I'm gonna chase some of these routing units quickly. Get a few extra kills. Yeah, I still want you chasing. Well, stay on him. Like I said, I just want to get a few extra kills because these units are going to go back to their garrison and try to work against me in the next battle. So I'm just going to kill a few extra of them on the way out. Anything I get is just a bonus. Going into the next battle. I think that ought to put us in pretty good shape for finishing off Teclis and his faction. He definitely declared a war that he shouldn't have. I don't know... Like, I, the diplomacy is based partly on some, um, you know, the ranking system where it ranks your faction. And the faction ranking system is an odd one to me, uh, in the sense that sometimes it seems pretty accurate, other times it seems way off. So I'm not always sure what to make of it. Okay, they got a chance to recruit more units, so... Both of them are trying to recruit Silver and Guard or something, though, that takes more than one turn, because neither one of them actually turned up with any new units. The Auto-Resolve's not going to take any units from me, and it's going to allow me to take this settlement. Um, I'm going to raise this settlement. If I can sack it first. Yeah, I'm going to sack it. And then... Forged in battle. Claim it for I'll tear the it throne. down on the next one. Rest I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of uh, replenishment, and then I'll tear it down on the next turn. I wanted to get the money, though, so we could put the money to use in our own settlements. I need to put a growth building there, especially now that I got the gemstones giving me the extra cash. See there, we can take the money from sacking... Teclis' settlement, I distributed it back out over my own settlements. Put it to work. And now we have Lightning Strike at our disposal. Excellent. Finish our Rune of Breaking. Let's work on... Or hang on, what is this? Striker of Runes. Yeah, that's good to uh, reduce cooldown on runes. I have a decent bit of Oath Gold. The stuff that I want to forge, though, will be coming later. So I'm not going to get too bent on it at the moment. Let's end this turn. And then I'm going to tear down the Great Turtle Isles. And then I'm going to search the Great Turtle Isles. Man, they took way more casualties on me than I needed to get right there. That's really frustrating. Okay. Actually, I've got the movement points. Search it right there. No, we can't search it. Those Dark Elves might settle it, unfortunately. It'd be frustrating, but they certainly could if they choose to. Okay, everything we can build is being built. I'm a run on build. With Thoric, I'm going to open up this Inspiring Presence line so I can buff up my Longbeards and Warriors, because they're going to be the staple of my army. I, well, actually, no, I'm going to buff my Quarlers. Sorry, the Quarlers are going to be the staple of my army. That gummit. They resettled it before I could search it. I hate you, you drooky scum. You're gonna get yours soon enough. The magic is useless here. I'm gonna have to go slow and keep um Can't really move a whole bunch more yet on this turn. We're recruiting or we're replenishing quite slow, unfortunately. Um, let's see here. I need to search a settlement, but those Druki are probably going to be beating me to the punch every time. Can you see I'm busy? Here comes... Oh, I thought it was going to be a war declaration. I'm not going to make a non-aggression pack with her, though, because I'm likely to attack her Vengeance soon, too. Sweet. <laughs> that just seems rather pointless. Show 
them how it's done. Come on. All right. Beyond even quite. They're likely just gonna have a spam army up here. I'm trying to replenish as quick as I can. Additional growth there. Level up Wixel. Perfect. All right. I'm ending a lot more turns than I would like without gathering a bunch of new territory, which is a bit frustrating, but we're getting rid of an enemy. And I'm thinking that this gives give me the opportunity to search some ruins. Hey, hi is getting much stronger here each turn than I am because they, they can pull units to them faster than I can replenish. So I'm gonna go ahead and siege them here. It's actually, the auto resolve is fairly kind to me. Honestly, we can just kill them right now. I mean, there's nothing preventing me from putting an end to them right here on this turn. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to fight this, raise their settlement, and then see if we can search it before the Druki decide to move in and claim it for their own. I guess I should have occupied that settlement just so that the Druki couldn't because of the treaties, but then I'd have that settlement that's likely to just rebel and cause me issues later on. But, I mean... If you don't spend any money on it, you won't really have lost anything. It kind of just becomes a placeholder that keeps a future enemy from getting access to it. I guess that's one way I could have looked at it. Probably should have. But, you know, hindsight's 2020. Okay, here we go. A quarreler stacked up in here. Shooting your crap at me. Quick about it. Yes. Hook those dwarf and legs. Try more nano. Bring death. Oh my gosh, they blobbed up so bad, and my grudge thrower is making them pay a horrendous price for it. I love it. But shoot my mourn fangs, you jerks. I got Corlor shooting at you. Are you going to protect yourself or are you just going to try and go for a target of opportunity? Oh, I can't quite reach them with this. I'll put it right here, though. They're about to walk through it. it won't be great, though, because it's just outside of their blob. That's unfortunate. Nice. They bombarded their own unit worse than me. I always appreciate that. I'm trying to attack these spearmen from a couple of different directions. Got so many stupid enemy archers and horse archers. Leave it to the uh, high elves to spam all that trash on me. Crushing them slowly but surely here. Heard my Morn Fangs go over here. It's forgot to put my Grudge Thrower on defensive stance, so it's trying to take off and run away. I'm not gonna go chase them actually with these cavalry because they'll just run away and I can't catch them. So, I'm just gonna cut them down with my, uh, Quarrelers. Speaking of Quarrelers, they are attacking my Quarrelers with great weapons over here. That will be a failed attack for sure from their Reavers. Their Reavers don't possess the uh, melee prowess necessary to win that fight. Look at them just sitting here targeting my Mornfangs rather than firing back at the Quarrelers who are cutting them down. My Quarrelers are quite good. Some of them already have very high... Reload, or sorry, missile damage at 42. 
But they're going to get much better than that. They will get much better still. Alright, so we have whacked most of their range capability. And there goes the chain route. So, nice. Whirler's already coming in clutch. They are very much superior ranged to anything the High Elves have to offer at the moment. 233 kills in the Grudge Thrower. And they got a ton of those kills in like one or two volleys when they were doing their like repositioning and they got blobbed up. They got absolutely shellacked and it was hilarious. I love it when the AI does that. Like you have good artillery and they go through their compulsive reforming routine. Alright, I'm going to raise the cell as much as I'd like to sack, and I'm going to raise now it before the Druki have a chance to get up here all in one turn. So, it has been raised. The Order of Lore Masters is no more. We picked up a Potion of Strength. Not a great thing, but we can always turn it into Oath Gold later on too in the Forge. I don't think there's anything for me to build at the moment. There isn't. Start working on this Toolmaker's buff. Crap. I'm gonna have a Rebellion. And I don't have good defenses for it. This is unfortunate. Why does it say it's coming here? It should come at Wixel because that's my... capital here. I have this Lord who we previously had. It's gonna cost me, but I could bring him in. And I have access to some units here. It's gonna drain my funds temporarily. But I have to prepare, like I can't give up this settlement at the moment. Not exactly what I wanted here. Reaching present, stop. Let's go and start buffing our quarrelers. So see, there's an extra 10% ammunition, and then from here on up, we get um, more... Let's see, next level 15%, and then missile strength. Yes, we're going to start getting missile strength, and then up to 20% ammunition. So make a pretty big difference. So we're going to go into the negative here. They have to prepare against this rebellion. It's going to hit us. And hopefully I can just disband those troops. That may have turned around the public... It did. It... Well, it stopped there from being a rebellion that turn, but there likely will be this turn. Let's go ahead and search these ruins. Oblins left vast troves of power. I have no idea. Okay. Um, this one. Puzzle failed. Alright, well, I figured. Add a Thane into his army? I don't have any Thanes. It'd be kind of hard to get one, to be honest. Well, we are done out there, at least for the moment. I can't spend any money, because I'm on the brink of ruination with money. Until I can disband that army, I don't need. See, that Skaven Rebellion popped up there. I'm going to crush it. In these dark times. And then disband that army. They want a defensive alliance. Um. I don't really want that right now, because I don't want to get pulled into any wars. If you want something done right. Okay. Ready. Skaven have started rebelling. Let us settle. I'm gonna just go ahead and crush the Skaven rebellion. Shoulder axes, lads. We move. And then I can disband this army. Then I'll be able to get my leader back over here in time. Well, at least we get some extra growth and stuff going on here for. A couple turns. For the 
I'm gonna boot this whole army now. There we go. I hate the upkeep penalties that CA gives you. I can totally afford that army, but they give you arbitrary upkeep penalties just because they can. And um, it's just the difficulty level. It's really frustrating. There's no reason for them like, to make it that way, but they're just trying to kind of arbitrarily make the game more difficult for the player and make it easier for their AI to defeat you, potentially. Go ahead and spend some money on these buildings now that we're out on the threat of bankruptcy. That's going to be about all the time I have for this episode. I'd say it was a productive one. We got rid of Teclas. Not aggression packs I will take for now from the wizards. We got rid of Teclas. So we no longer have an enemy on that flank. Um, I think we'll either want to fight these Druki next. Or High Queen Kalita. To the voice of the vengeful. Druki spread all the way north up here. Whereas Kalita is a little more condensed and it would be easier to take her lands. And then her lands are going to be easier to actually maintain on my behalf than it would be with some of the others. So I think that I'm going to. Um, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to attack Kalita next. Anyway, hope you all are enjoying this so far. That's going to be all the time I have for now. Let's see how my public order looks here. It's good for now. I'm going to put defenses in here so we don't have to raise that army to protect it from Skaven Rebellions from here on out. And uh, I'm going to move back into my own territory, begin replenishing, and prepping for the next episode. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go after this um, artifact here that Kalita is hiding. See if we can put her out of business. She's ooh, actually she's spreading. She's already over here. If I, yeah, that could get tricky because I might need to. Mm. It's gonna be tricky because I'm gonna have to defend two fronts against Kalita, and Thrice Curse Peak is gonna be relatively open to counterattack. So it might actually be better for me to just attack the Druki and then go get Kalita later. I'm not sure. I'll have to figure it out because I can't really afford two armies at the moment. Anyway, Air of Carthage signing out for now. I will see you all next time.